A very good anchor for the price. A better value than Yak Air. The anchor is well-built galvanized steel and painted red making it easier to find should you lose it. The claws can be locked either the open or closed position. The bag that comes with it is made of sturdy nylon and is also padded. The only thing I'd recommend is include at least 50 feet of line because 25 foot is not long enough. Otherwise I would have given it 5 stars. The line it comes with, although too short, is pretty heavy duty and the marker bullion steel snap ring is a nice addition. I'm using their cord as a tow line for other crafts. I'd recommend this Yak Gear product to use with the anchor. Ace and BO1 Merchant Yak Attack Side Winder, Anchor Line Reel, includes track hardware and 75 of 550 paracord if you have a watercraft heavier than 160 pounds, including battery, motor, and gear, minus the occupant. Don't waste your time on the one. The one. 5 pounds works well for 9 and 10 foot kayaks. Anything bigger and it'd go with the 3 pounds or 3. 5 pounds my single occupant pontoon boat, with a full sized battery trolling motor and gear was too heavy for the one. 5 pounds and it wouldn't hold. The 3. 5 pounds anchor works perfectly. They show the anchor tied at the top end but rock rigging the anchor, tied at the claw end, is far better. If you tie it at the claw end and zip tie the line at the top, you give the line a good pull and break the zip tie allowing you to pull the anchor out backwards if you get stuck. There are videos on YouTube that makes the rock rigging easy. Search, Yak Air, how to rock rig an anchor and set up and add a rope. Enjoy! Used it today for first time on my kayak. Worked great no issues at all might replace the rope with paracord as I may need more than 25 feet at certain lakes. Got the base and the pick while anchored with this anchor. Awesome addition to the Trophy Beach 126 kayak. Great value. Easy to use for anchoring my SUP yoga classes, plenty of cording available for deeper waters. Simple to keep organized for next class. I plan to make a dozen of these myself after ordering one. They happen to go on sale the day I priced the individual components, and my cost to make them was going to be more than to purchase these aesthetically pleasing kits. The bag is great to protect my epoxy subsurface. My fleet for classes is inflatable. My students are provided the kit minus the bag for classes, as the wet anchor lines do not have a chance to dry inside the bag, which leads to the inside of the bag smelling badly, as would be expected. Dot a mesh bag would be great for this purpose, but I added a velcro strap to fold up the anchor lines when not in use. Fits makes the bags unnecessary during classes, 